Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Samurai Warriors. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 56. Now, let us continue from where we left off. First, who's the... Ah, it's Mitsuhide. All right. And you know what? Second costume, go, because I like it. And you know what? Against my better judgment, I'm actually going to go with this costume just for the rest of Kunoichi's playthrough. Both good and bad. Well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. So, last time we finished the Battle of Mikata Kahara. Bleh. Mikata Kahara. And now we move on to Gifu Infiltration. Yes, unlike Hanzo, Kunuichi has more infiltrations than he does. I believe she has at least three infiltration type missions, which is, well, impressive to say the least. Obviously, we're gonna need the lantern for this one. I didn't see anybody lock swords with me, so as much as I like the Kage Scroll, I might not take it with me in favor of the ninja gi, or sorry, the ninja suit. But then again, I don't really fall into traps anyway, so it's not a big deal. Alright, let's move. So, only Mitsuhide's in this castle, huh? Nothing like a sob story to persuade these hero monkeys. Magic ninja girl seeking revenge for the death of her family. Yeah, let's go with that. Brilliant, Konoichi. Brilliant. <clears throat> I'll pummel you! Why? What did I do to you? You're a ninja for the Oda. Don't think I'll spare you because you're a oh. girl. No, I lost my family because of Nobunaga, so I became a ninja, and... No, that's such a sad story. Shh, be quiet. An intruder has entered the premises. Find him. <laughs> Woo, that'll teach ya. So yeah, Goemon just gave us away because he's an idiot. Oh god, it's Ron Maru. Flee if you value your life! Hold oh, intruder! An intruder is an intruder. Gender is irrelevant. Oh, I, I set up a trap without meaning to. You know, having a loud voice means you're insensitive. Yeah, perhaps I shouldn't have taken the power bracer. I'm, I'm a bit OP. Just, just slightly. Oh well, nothing for it now. You know what, guys? Yeah, I'm slightly OP for this. Just, just slightly. No power bracer next time. Just for balance sake. Okay, fairly big floor. Let's see if we can avoid trouble. Ow. I never fall into traps. I don't need the ninja suit. Gets hit by punji sticks. Yeah. Oh, hi. How you doing? I'm gonna... Well, I am gonna go this way. Yeah. 
or not. I am just lost as hell. There we go. Now I'm going the right way. You know... I realized that... Uh-oh. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. But little vixens like you aren't welcome here. Oh, but snake women are allowed in here? Nah. I've noticed that even with... Ah, Himiko's rune for defense... I'm still not that powerful. I mean, defensively speaking. Wow, she has got a lot of help. No, no, it's just my um, counter-attack power there is really low. I keep picking up items. I don't need them. Let me just get out of here. Actually, no, I take it back. No one had an item? Really? No health, nothing? I gotta find me some health. Wait, I bet you there's some up here. Smooth. I am pro at this. <laughs> there we go. Now I've got some health back. Yes, that's right. The pressure plate trap went off because I just happened to be walking... just because I happened to be in the air above it. It's distance-based as opposed to pressure, so... It's the same reason why punji sticks go off even though you're not actually there. Oh, hi. be a bigger threat in the next game when you actually have a character, instead of just, you know, random NPC general. Oh, this is a big floor. What am I worried about? She's a ninja, she can make it. Or not. Let's try it again. Oh, okay, come on. I get it. I'm dazed. Nope. She is literally not fast enough. There we go. That worked. Ah, crap. I don't Wait, didn't he defeat you on the last floor? No, different, different guy, different guy. And now the door's open, and now we can move! Ooh, that'll teach ya. I saw the punji sticks. I knew they were there. And what did I do? I leapt into them, because I am intelligent. I am good at stealth infiltration! IRB good ninja, really. This <laughs> just practice run. Okay, who's waiting for me in here? Nobody important. It's the potato samurai. Um where's the door? There it is. I, I lost track of the door. Don't ask me how I did that, but I did. KG? You What the fuck you doing here? Reckless. Do the not wish the chaos to continue? No, no, we really thought this one through. Honest. Ah. Sorry, there was a gnat in front of me. Little ow, bastard. You know what? I'm not even gonna kill you. Wait, did Hanzo even drop anything? Nah, he didn't. Don't care. Awfully preachy for the silent type. Preachy? He said one thing. He asked you if you wanted to keep going. How is that preachy? Hi. Ow. Hey, hey, hey. Easy, buddy.
Let us see what you are made of. Um, Dog sugar and spice? Nobunaga, I shall have vengeance for my family. Wait, what are you talking about? Dare thing, ignorance, demon servant. Ow. Yeah, don't, don't get too close to the walls. If you're careful, you can sort of lure Mitsukide into the walls, but it's kind of tricky. Most impressive. I shall withdraw for now. Justice always prevails. I kid you not. You must finish me. Now, what would be the point of killing you? It's all that Nobunaga guy's fault anyway. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Meow. I should not trust the words of an enemy. But then again, do I still trust the Lord? Wow, that was a piece of cake. You really dropped the ball. Lucky me, lucky me. Shame on you for making it so easy. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of painful to listen to. In fact, I'm going to switch over to the Japanese voice pretty much for the rest of this playthrough, because in this next mission, you will thank me. Believe me, you will thank me for not making you listen to the English voice actress. Oh. Nice, 575 points. 70 points, sorry. Yes, I will take that. Is that range? That is range. Wait, wait, wait. Start over. Ah, that'll eat up too many points. Mm. Nope, attack range and vitality. Well, I suppose I could go with that. Not that I really have much in the way of elemental attacks, anyway. One moment, folks, while I uh, switch out Konoichi's voice. Okay, I've switched out Konoichi's voice to the Japanese. Not only that, I uh, there is a way here to get char every character's fifth weapon. You see, in this stage, you can get Konoichi's fifth weapon. To get it, what you have to do is you have to play it on hard or chaos, but hard is easier. And then go down to the bottom floor as fast as you can. That's one of her missions, is to get to the bottom floor as quickly as humanly possible. And the thing is with that, in Samurai Warriors, if you had a second player with you, if you were able to complete that prerequisite as Konuichi, as the first player, 
The second player could rush ahead and grab the special weapon, and they would get their weapon. So if I took, say, Yukimura, well not Yukimura, if I took, oh, let's say, Oichi with me, and got down to the final floor fast enough, Oichi could run ahead and grab the weapon, and she would get her weapon. As of uh, Samurai Warriors XL, however, they fixed that little glitch, so it doesn't matter if the first player or second player gets down there first. Since this is Konoichi's weapon you're going for, only she'll get it. Now then, uh, I am satisfied with this weapon. I am actually going to remove the Power Bracer. And because I have been running into traps, I'll take the Ninja Suit. Yeah, I feel like I did a poor job of explaining that, but you'll get the gist of it. Yes, if you can head to each of the subfloors quickly, you'll uh, unlock Konoichi's final weapon, or fifth weapon. The other thing is, if you have a character that you want to level up but you don't really want to put the risk into it, you could have two players play this stage in either free mode, preferably in free mode, that way you can use whichever character you're comfortable with, have the second player just sit there and do nothing. The first player can run through the level and fight and earn experience, and the second player won't have to do a thing. Because every time you actually go down, if one player makes it to the next set of stairs to get to the next floor, both players start out there and enemies won't attack you at the stairs. Now, I'm actually going slow so you can actually hear what she's saying and all that, and believe me, this would have been far more annoying if it had been the English voice actress. <laughs> yes, English voice actress Konoichi trying to be cute like Japanese voice actress Konoichi is not good for your ears, trust me. So now I will try to waste no more time. Weapon there, and now I'm going to just run, 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 and ignore enemies because there's no need to fight anyone. You're not going to run into any like enemy generals or anything. It's just get through quickly. Whoa! I actually slowed down, and there was fire here. And I am standing on air because I'm a ninja. And I like to think I know this level fairly well. I played it a lot to earn people's weapons and, uh, you know, just to... <laughs> just because it's a good place to pick up weapons, too. Keep going straight. And since you're playing as Konoichi, you can just jump up here instead of going around. Go straight. This is also the site of, um, one of Hanzo's infiltration missions, actually, but since I'm running against the clock, I don't have time to look around for stuff. Get shot in the face, it's okay. Keep running, oh, oh, hang her right. Slash through that. Up the stairs. Hang her left. Get shot again. And stand on the air. Or partially on the air. I should have double jumped. So generally, if you can make make it within a minute and a half, you'll be fine. First level characters will probably be able to do it if they have the speed shoes. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa. She's not quite fast enough to get there. I don't know why she could make it through the traps in the last in the last uh, castle, but here she's suddenly having trouble. It looks like she's just slow enough to not make it. It's kind of annoying. Uh, uh, yeah. 
standing on air. Now, another thing is that when you get down to the bottom, you'll find Hanzo and Yukimura locked in combat. To get her good ending, you need to defeat Hanzo before he can injure Yukimura critically. In Samurai Warriors, the way it worked was, ow, motherfuckers, you could just sit back and let Yukimura fight, and he would get injured, and once he was injured enough, Hanzo would leave, and then that would be that. But if you sit back and do nothing here, Hanzo will actually kill Yukimura. So, you have to actually get in there. See, I made it. Valuable item found. If you are playing with a second character and you don't want them to get killed, it's best if you stay here and kill these guys quickly. And then move on. So the valuable item is over here in the left room. So the best way I'm going to go about this is I'm basically going to hang back and let him get injured and then I'm going to dart in and fight. So it's kind of a tricky thing to do. If you're careful, you can actually attract the attention of the other uh, Hanzos and get them to come out and fight you. do that too. Okay, yeah, I've been playing too much Dragon's Dogma. Because I thought about picking up this rock and throwing it at somebody. That's something you can do in Dragon's Dogma. So, uh, I will go on ahead and kill these clones. Because they're worth about 200 EXP each. And then I'll be careful not to engage the actual Hanzo. More clones will keep popping up, so you could essentially fight them forever. Alright, now we go on. As I said before, in the original Samurai Warriors, at this point, Hanzo would retreat having completed his mission, but in XL, he'll keep going until Yukimura's dead. Yeah, that is one of the bad things. Is once they start getting low on health, it's easy to lose track of the actual one. No. Knock that off. Well, no, it's not that hard. It's hard to notice at a glance because Hanzo's health bar is actually smaller. And did he just step out of it like a boss? But an easy way to find out which Hanzo is the real one is that um, the fake Hanzos will focus on you while the real one will go after you some more constantly. And Yukimura will go after the real one, too. Hi, book. 
終わりだモノノフよ。There's her cyclone, and then she gets her Kushinada, which is, yes, that is her fifth weapon. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, the cyclone is her third weapon, the Shiranui is her fourth weapon, and the Kushinada is her fifth weapon. I do not have her sixth weapon. I do not know what I need to do to get it off the top of my head, <sighs> and I'm not going to bother going for it because I... Yeah, I could take the Kushinada if I wanted to. Because since it's a fifth and sixth weapon, I can't really upgrade it much, so I'll just want to get rid of that. That was really only worth one level, even though I killed like what four of the Hanzo clones. That's ah, okay. Now, unfortunately, since the rest of Konoichi's missions are basically infiltration, I will not be taking any bodyguards with me. In order to take bodyguards with me, I have to complete the good ending. So yeah. I will, however, take this. Uh, better items. Sure, why not? And, as a little side bonus for you guys... What is today? Today is Wednesday. For some reason, I thought today was Thursday. Ah, man, I don't know. My brain is not in the right space. So it was a little side bonus for you guys, since I still got a little time left. I'm going to show you just how awesome... Is it survival mode? No. Challenge mode. I'm going to show you just how awesome Konoichi is in the Muzao training. Oh my god, she's good. It's ridiculous how good she is. Now granted, the higher level she is... Oh, sorry, something like The higher the level she is, the bigger her Muzao gauge, and the bigger her Muzao gauge, the longer she can fight for. So, really, a level 20 Konoichi is actually better than a level 10. But, and I also think whatever equipment you you have given her will reflect here as well. Now she's got a pretty good size gauge. She'll be okay. Well, I gotta see him first. The gauge is almost too short. Almost. Ah, I couldn't grab it. I spun around it too much. Oh. And then it just kind of goes on like this. I need a longer cage. It's just short enough to not carry me where I need to go. See what I mean? It's just short enough to be a problem. Yeah, it's just short enough to be an issue.
643, that was actually paltry. That was actually a bad performance because her Muzal gauge is just short enough for, me to, for it to not let me go as far as I need to go. See what I mean? 3006 was the best I had ever done. All the others were from Nobunaga because of just how fast he could move, you know, the whole slide and, and dash thing, sort of like Mitsuhide, but better. But even still, there's a huge gap between Nobunaga and Konoichi. Trying to get a high ranking in Muzao is actually easier, or I should say is actually more challenging if you don't use Konoichi. Ah, uh, no, no need to save the records. That was not exactly earth-shattering. But I think that will be it for this video, folks. So until next time.